Do the bug screens in your RV have holes that are big enough for bugs to get through? Like this one? Stick around because I'm going to show you how easy it is to change them. Hi guys and welcome to Honey and Me. I'm Susan and this is my RV named Honey. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up while you're there. You can also ring that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release a new video. Let's get to the job of removing these screens and making it more bug proof. First, I'm going to remove the screen door from the RV and take it inside where it's going to be a whole lot cooler to work on. We're in the basement and I have all the things that I need to change out this one screen. All the other screens in the RV are in pretty good shape, but this one has come undone here and you can see where the netting itself is ripped apart. So I can't just tuck it back in there. It needs to be replaced. I have a roll of new mosquito netting to go in there. I also have some spline, which you can buy in rolls. And I have a tool which rolls in the spline to the space in there. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can order these things from Amazon. I did a lot of these replacements with just using a dinner knife to squish the spline into the space there. And while it worked, this is a whole lot easier and I wish I'd bought one earlier because it really makes a big difference on how quickly and easily it all goes together. So let's first start by taking out the old screen. I'm going to start in the corner up here because you can see the spline is sticking out of there, so it should be easy to pull it out. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to be reusing the spline so I don't want to wreck it or throw it away. See how easy it comes out. So that's the piece out and of course where the screen was actually wrecked, there wasn't any spline. So that's where I'm going to have to patch in a piece of the stuff that I have. So then we can just pull the screen out. And I'm going to save this screen because I can use it for patching or for smaller windows. So I'm going to fold that up and save it. Here is the new roll. And I'm going to take it out of its sleeve. So I've laid out the new screen and you want the edge of the screen to overlap the groove that the spline has to go into by at least an inch or two and a half centimeters. So I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut around and I'm going to place something on the screen. It's a CD holder to keep it in place while I cut. So this edge is all lined up here and now I'm going to cut around. So I'm just using the edge of the, the frame as a guide. You can see on the tool it has a groove in the top of the wheel and that is going to go around the spline as it pushes it into the crevice. So this is the side you're going to use. This other side doesn't have a groove. The hardest part of this is actually getting it started, getting that the spline into the groove. Once you've got it into the groove, it goes in fairly easily, but I'm going to use the side that doesn't have a groove in the top to push the spline into the groove. So you wanna take the spline and put it into the groove as much as you can and then use the tool to push it in. So now it's in there and I'm going to use the other side that has the groove in it to push it in and the groove kind of holds the spline on the wheel. So take your spline and lay it down over top of where it needs to go. 
make sure your screen is laid out where it needs to be on the window frame and roll along pushing the spline into the groove so you can see now it's seated in there so I'm going to do that all the way around the edge It takes more than a little bit of pressure. It takes pressure to get it in there. I'm going to have to remove this door handle right here because I can't get the tool in there. So I'm going to go and get my screwdriver. You want to tug along the edge to make sure that it's not loose anywhere. So I'm taking my the long piece that was already in here and I'm just butting it up against the end of the old piece that I reused from another window and just putting that in there. sure that the mosquito net is pulled top. Work it into the corner. I'm going to use my screwdriver just to get it into the corner nice and deep. So there we go. And we can continue on up this way. So I'm going to flip it around so I can work on the side closest to me instead of having to reach over. Okay, so I've got two corners and a half done. So now as I'm going along this side, I'm pulling the mosquito netting taut so it's not going to be all uh, wavy in the middle and pushing the spline down into the crevice. Applying quite a bit of pressure to get it in there. Now we're just doing the final side. I want to make sure everything is nice and taut in the middle there.
just pushing it in with the end of the screwdriver just to make sure it's in there nice and deep. So now I need to trim off the excess and I'm going to use a razor knife to cut it nice and close to the edge. There's the new screen all put in, nice and tight. Now we're going to do something fun with it. Because my RV's name is Honey, I'm going to do some stencils of bees on the mosquito screen. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. See my bees? 